Hello, welcome to another video by you Plant Troop channel. In this video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to grow beetroots from seed, transplanting and right up to harvesting, as well as some of the common problems that may occur and how to rectify them. Project started on the 6th of December 2020. Let's begin. For the purpose of this video, this is the seed tray that I will be using. So the first thing we need to do is to fill the potting tray with some potting soil. Choose a potting soil that is ideal for growing seedlings. By using a small pencil, make holes an inch deep as shown in the video. Remember when planting from seed it's always best to read the instructions on the seed package rather than planting whenever. These are the seed pods. These seed pods may contain more than one seed. Now add one seed pod per hole. I have planted 24 seed pods in a seed tray that was meant for 12 seeds, so it is possible that we may need to thin these out later on, which will be shown in this video once we reach that point. Using your finger, lightly cover the seed pods that you have just planted with some potting soil in the seed tray. Now at this stage, give your seeds a good thorough soaking of water. Use the end of a pencil to push the seed pods deeper if necessary. All done for now. Now let's see how many days they need to germinate. Seven days later and the first sign of seed germination is visible. Here we can see more than one seed germinating in a seed pod. Twenty-seven days later and the seedlings have outgrown their seed tray and need to be separated into individual pots. No really easy way to do this with this type of seed tray. Place the seed tray on its side while pressing the bottom part of the seed tray and letting gravity help you extract it. The pots should be filled almost halfway with some good quality potting soil. Just by pinching the soil you can easily separate the seedlings without damaging the roots as shown in the video. Each seedling that I have separated here has its roots intact. Remember when planting from seed it's always best to read the instructions on the seed package rather than planting whenever. As you can see the roots are well developed. Now place the seedling into the half filled pot. Now refill the pot with some more potting soil. Now that we have finished transplanting, don't forget to give them a thorough watering. On the 16th of January, I noticed a small outbreak of leaf miner on the leaves. A leaf miner is any numerous species of insects in which the larva stage lives in and eats the leaf tissue of the plant. The vast majority of leaf miners insects are moths and sawfly. Larvae feeds and develops within the leaf tissue between leaf surface and are active for about two to three weeks. So what we need to do to resolve this problem is to cut off any damaged or infected leaves. Don't be afraid to give them a good trim, as long as there is one good leaf, the others will grow back. Once again, the seedlings have outgrown their pots and need to be transplanted into larger pots. By doing this, you have a more established seedling to plant in its final destination. Once again, fill the pot halfway 
Turn the pot upside down and place two fingers in between the seedling and with your other hand tap lightly as shown in the video to extract the plant. A nicely well developed root system. Now add to the larger pot and refill with additional soil. Once done, give your seedlings a thorough watering. Several days later and new leaves have grown. So here we are once again, ready to transplant them into their final destination, into a raised planter box. These seedlings are now more well developed and more suitable to be exposed to the outside elements. Once you have transplanted all of your plants, it is essential for you to water them. Now that most of the hard work has been done, it is only a matter of time before they are ready for harvesting. As can be seen, it is possible to grow your own organic, healthy, fresh vegetables when you put a bit of effort into the task. Feel free to ask me any questions related to the video in the comment section below. I hope you have found this video of interest and consider subscribing if you have not already done so. Also, I would appreciate if you hit that like button. Thanks for watching.